I'm so glad my little sister invited me to a new home at Bird's Nest Castle. We haven't seen each other since the wedding. I walked her down the aisle myself. I can't wait for our reunion. Even during the ceremony, I still couldn't believe that my little sister, who always dreamed of becoming an artist, had grown up and was marrying a baron. It will be so good to see her. I've missed her so much. Sir, you should stay away from this place. Take my word for it. I'm Mary, one of the Van Garrett's maids. I've lived in the castle for several years and thought the curse was just a legend. But something unbelievable has happened. The new mistress, Katrina, somehow revived the old paintings. And now, the castle's in chaos. I was just attacked by a creature that came right out of a painting. I won't be staying here again, and I'd recommend you don't either. If you still decide to stay, take this. You might find it useful. Some doors should never be opened.
Hello, I'm Charlie, keeper of the legends of Bird's Nest Castle. Many years ago, a sorcerer created me in memory of a mother's love for her daughter. And now I plan to help you. Please bring me the feather key. Then I'll help you destroy the evil magic surrounding this place and tell you more about the castle's curse. The first owner of the castle, Baron Albert von Barb, had everything one could dream of. Wealth, title, and talent. Everyone throughout the land knew him as a gifted artist. The most realistic canvases came to life under his brush. The fame of his unique paintings went far beyond the kingdom. Hundreds of people dreamed of buying his work. Unfortunately, despite his success, the Baron had a weakness his wife Helen, and daughter Doriana. Albert was sure his family's happiness would last forever. But one day, tragedy came to call when little Doriana became terminally ill. It was as if Joy abandoned Bird's Nest Castle forever from that moment on. What happened to the Baron next? Is his story connected to the castle's curse? See you soon! Alex! Watch out! We need to stop the bush quickly. Otherwise, it'll destroy everything around it. I'm sorry. I'd help you if I could, but I'm injured. You did it. Thank you. But the bush hurt me badly enough that I can't get up. Please, find something to treat my wound. Thank you for your help, Alex. Honestly, I didn't believe in the rumors about Bluebeard's curse before. That was until Katrina restored the old paintings and decorated the castle with them. I kept seeing the pictures looking at me. Katrina didn't believe me. 
and I began to think I was going mad. But today, the painting started coming to life and attacking people. All the servants fled, and Katrina disappeared. I was trying to find her when this bush suddenly attacked me. We must find Katrina as soon as possible. I'll take a look in the backyard, and you can check out the workshop in the castle. Helen was Baron von Barb's wife and the mother of Doriana. The Baron convinced her that there was only one way to save their daughter. She would have to give up her life so that Doriana could live. Helen agreed. Helen wanted to leave Doriana something to remember her by. So, before her death, she asked the sorcerer to make a music box to symbolize her love. Later, the Baron took Helen to a secret room where her life was cut short. Baron Albert then decided to immortalize his wife by depicting her in the form of a peacock 
to symbolize her beauty and courage. So this is that music box? See you soon! Thank you for giving me back my true form. I'm Helen, the Baron's first wife. I'm sorry for attacking you. My mind was overcome by the curse. Please, help me find my wedding ring. It contains the power of love and magic. Then, I'll tell you everything I know. Many thanks. Unfortunately, if I tell you anything about the secret room, the curse will take hold of me again. But you should know that Katrina is in great danger. She entered the secret room to restore the paintings, breaking the castle's cardinal rule. Since then, Bluebeard's curse has returned with a vengeance, consuming the castle along with its inhabitants. Don't worry. I can sense that Katrina is alive somewhere in the castle. I just don't know where exactly. Try looking in her workshop. Hurry, before Bluebeard's curse reaches her.
After her mother died, little Doriana became terribly lonely, so the Baron decided to hire her a governess. Esther immediately seemed like an ideal candidate, but at first, she feared him. Rumors spread throughout the kingdom about the disappearance of Helen and the Baron's evil intentions. Everything changed when Esther saw Doriana. She was fascinated by the Baron's little girl and decided that no monster could raise such a wonderful child. From that moment on, Doriana and Esther became inseparable. One day, Esther opened a secret room and uncovered the Baron's dark secret. That's how she became the next victim. But despite her misstep, the Baron appreciated everything she had done for his child. So, to honor her comforting and caring nature, he created a portrait of Esther and portrayed her as a swallow. What's happening in the secret room? I hope Katrina is all right. See you soon! Oh, thank you. I haven't seen anyone for so long. I'm Esther, Doriana's governess. Could you do me a small favor? 
Please, find the old doll I'm looking for. It reminds me of my little Doriana. She could spend all day sitting by a small mirror, changing her doll's outfits. I hope the doll is still there. Here, this should help you. I think I remember seeing a candlestick in the corridor. I could use it to light a torch. Thank you. This means so much to me. Once when Doriana and I were playing hide and seek, I stumbled across a secret room. Going inside cost me my life. Who would have thought that the room could still be dangerous even after the Baron died? Katrina's the only one who was able to get out of the secret room alive and not fall under the power of Bluebeard's curse. You should find her diary. Perhaps it will help you find her and learn more about the room's mystery. Take this to help you open the diary.
Alex, we don't have much time. I found Katrina. She's in a dungeon and she needs help, but I can't do it alone. There's no time to explain everything. Follow me. Casper? Where did he go? And how did I end up locked in the dungeon? Welcome to Bird's Nest Castle. <laughs> Casper? I knew something was wrong with him.
Albert von Barb found no joy in putting human souls in the paintings, but his daughter's life was the most important thing to him, so he couldn't stop. The Baron married time and time again, only to sacrifice his spouse in exchange for prolonging Doriana's life. Having learned of their sister's sudden death, his seventh wife's brothers vowed to deal with the Baron. They headed towards the castle to attack him and put a permanent end to Bluebeard's atrocities. But the Baron was one step ahead of his executioners. He painted himself, hoping that the power of two souls, a mother and a father, would finally destroy his daughter's affliction. His wish came true, and Doriana was healed. But the Baron's soul remained forever as black as a raven's wings. So, the Baron painted himself to destroy the curse? Why didn't it work? See you soon! Hello, my name is Albert Van Barb, but I'm more well known as Baron Bluebeard. I'm sorry for what I did. Please find a medallion with a picture of my daughter, and I'll tell you how to stop the curse.
So, Mary the Maid is Baron Bluebeard's daughter? The mere thought of losing my daughter enraged me. That's the only reason I painted so many portraits. I had no idea my little bird would become so angry. After my death, Doriana found out exactly what her health cost. After a while, she wanted to stay young forever by using new portraits. But she didn't inherit my talent for art, and when your gifted sister arrived at the castle, Doriana did her best to gain her trust. You can only defeat the curse by reaching its source, which is in the blue chamber under lock and key. But first, find your sister. If Doriana makes her draw someone's portrait, the curse will intensify, and you won't be able to save her.
Are you good or bad? I'm really scared. My name is Lily, and I'm an orphan that helps the castle cook. All the servants escaped, but I was too afraid to run with them, so I hid in a tree. Then I saw someone walking toward me, and I decided to hide here. I think I left my toy bird in the tree. I love it so much. Can you bring it to me? Then I'll tell you everything I saw. Here, this will help you wind it up.
When the curse appeared in the castle a couple of hours ago, the servants got scared, so they started running away. And I climbed a tree in the backyard, where I usually play with my wind-up bird. Later, I went to the servant's house. From the window, I saw Mary, the maid, talking to Caspar Van Garrett, as if she were the master of the castle, not him. His hair turned blue for some reason, and he looked like he was hypnotized. After the young baron left, Mary returned to the house, and I hid in the closet between the castle servant's clothes. Mary took out an old box from under the bench and put her diary inside. She was mumbling something about needing Lady Katrina. She almost caught me when she hid the box in the closet. I'm lucky she didn't look up. But the box is missing something, and I can't open it. Maybe you can do it? I think you'll find something useful in this box. That's all I know about what happened in the castle. You're kind, and I want to help you. Maybe I can call the people from the village to come here? I'll try to persuade them as fast as I can. If you need any tools, we keep them in the shed under the porch. It's really dark, but I have something to help. Except the matches are somewhere in the kitchen chests, so you'll have to look for them.
I need a mirror to see the lock. Perhaps I can find one in the servant's closet. Albert Van Barg is Baron Bluebeard, but who is Anna? And why did the Van Garrett family congratulate them? The Baron's last wife was Anna von Garrett, a talented aristocrat who had fallen in love with him and cherished his daughter. 
Once the Baron had decided to rebuild the castle to hide a secret, they decorated it with incredible tapestries. Like the Baron's previous wives, Anna disappeared shortly after her marriage. One of her brothers, who didn't believe she had simply disappeared and vowed to avenge her, was Caspar von Garrett's grandfather. After von Barb's death, he became the castle owner and later passed it down to his son. The von Garrett family took possession of the castle, but never found out that Anna had willingly given her life for Doriana, for whom she had become a foster mother. Von Barb portrayed his last wife as a black swan, beautiful and loyal to the end. So Anna von Garrett is Casper's great aunt? See you soon! Forgive me, this portrait is just a shadow of who I was as Anna Van Garrett. I know how to help you, but first, please bring the handkerchief I once embroidered for my beloved Albert.
I learned a lot about this castle in the short time I lived here. Albert was obsessed with hiding the blue chamber from guests. He started rebuilding the castle and hiding passages behind paintings, tapestries, statues. At first, I didn't know the reason, but I helped create some of these deceptions. One is a small safe in his office, hidden behind a tapestry I made. It's supposed to contain his records of Dariana's disease, but it's probably worn out with age. This flower opens the box with the tools you need to fix it.
The only way to heal little Doriana was through the old law of equilibrium. One to live, the other to die. So the alchemist sorcerer Rainier created magical paints that allowed the talented Von Barb to paint two portraits, one of Doriana and the other of her mother, Helen. Marred by the loss of his beloved Helen, after healing his daughter, Von Barb slipped into depression. He completely forgot the crucial condition Rainier gave. Doriana must never see her own portrait. That was the key to the alchemist's magic. Upon seeing her own portrait, Doriana awakened a curse that required new victims in return for her health. To keep her alive, the Baron had to paint a new portrait once a year. Learning of this, in a fit of rage, Von Barb drew Rainier himself as an owl, a clever but nearsighted creature. So the curse is Rainier's work. I must find him. See you soon! Forgive me, young master. I am Rainier, the alchemist. Baron von Barb hired me long ago to find a way to save his beloved daughter's life. But alas, I failed. After years spent inside the painting, I realized that not all powerful magic is worth the cost. If you can bring me the journal with records of my experiment, I can help you figure out how to break the curse. The curse brought Doriana's disease back over and over again. Once a year, she came close to death. So the Baron had to paint a new portrait with magical paints. First was Helen, then me, then Esther. And a year later, the Baron married again. This continued until Doriana was an adult. That's when the Van Garretts attacked the castle and the Baron painted himself. His sacrifice had incredible power. Doriana not only healed, but also gained long-lasting youth. But even the most potent magic wears out. So, years later, when she noticed herself aging, Doriana returned to the castle. She wanted to find paints and create a new portrait. Without her father's talent, she was happy to discover that Caspar Van Garrett had married a talented artist, your sister. When Doriana found my magic paints, she gave them to Katrina. If Katrina paints Casper with these paints, his years will be passed to Doriana. Take my most recent notes to learn how to save him.
Casper, stop! You're scaring me! Alex, be careful! Casper is cursed! You must stop him, but please don't hurt him! Alex, you don't know how happy I am to see you. Our maid encouraged me to paint a portrait of Casper with some old paints. When I started, he suddenly went mad, locked me in here, and even made threats to make me paint faster. I'm sure it's Mary's plotting. Or Doriana's? When she spoke to Casper, he called her that. She came here to check on my work, but luckily I ran out of paint. I'm certain it's all about the paints and the curse of Baron Bluebeard. Are you saying you've learned how to defeat the curse? Perhaps you should wait until Casper comes to his senses, and you can go together? I'll go see how he is. Meanwhile, you destroy his portrait. Otherwise, I'm afraid he'll turn into a monster. My travel easel has paint thinner. Here, take the key.
Where am I? Who are you? Did something bad happen? I think Casper has amnesia. He doesn't even recognize me. Please, find objects that will remind Casper of what happened. He and Doriana were talking about some dagger. Its details are hidden somewhere in the observatory. I think you'll definitely remember it. Our love letters should also help. Mine are in the travel easel, and his are probably in the safe. Here, take this to open the easel drawer. I'm so relieved to remember everything. When Katrina began to paint me, I felt like the world went upside down. The only thing I remembered was that I had to follow Doriana's orders.
Before you arrived, Doriana made me look for a weapon she read about in the old scrolls of the alchemist Rainier. She wanted to destroy the threat to her immortality at any cost. Doriana told Casper not to let you into the dungeon, no matter what. It looks like that's where the portrait you were talking about was hidden. But who knows what other secrets the cursed castle holds. If you hadn't come, we would have been its hostages forever. Thank you, Alex. I'll get Katrina out of the castle and be back to help you as soon as I can. I think you'll find one of the dungeon doors in the Magnolia Garden. Take care. The dungeon is the most dangerous place in the castle. By the way, we found this on the floor. It looks like part of some puzzle. You might need it.
Don't worry. We won't turn into monstrous birds anymore. When Doriana realized that her youth was slipping away, she thought she could squeeze a little more life out of us. She was unsuccessful, and in her anger, she cut our portraits with a poison blade. Now we are just ghosts, stuck between worlds. Something is keeping us in this cursed castle. Please, find our wedding ring so we can finally find peace. They must be somewhere nearby. The portrait you're looking for is in the room outside the door at the end of the corridor. But be careful. The curse is strong and will protect its source. Take this silver crow. Albert used to open small locks with it often. There's only one more thing I can do for you. Let me help open the door to the blue chamber. Wow, it looks like the portrait was aging instead of Doriana.
Thank you for both your courage and kindness. I believe, after all these years, you're the one who will finally defeat the curse. There are crystals to help you deal with the roses in my box. And now, I'll say farewell. you what please stop you must listen to me yes i've been in this room before but i've never taken the fabric off the portrait i didn't know it was aging instead of me my father kept me in the castle like a caged bird for so many years when i finally got out i couldn't get enough of life i wanted it to last forever I loved living so much that I completely forgot the price others paid for it. Now I see that I was wrong. When I was studying Rainier's notes, I found a detail the old alchemist didn't tell you about. The curse must be destroyed by those who have been cursed. Anyone else will simply take the curse upon themselves. Please, give me the dagger so I can stop this madness for good. You made the wrong choice.
No. Thank you for saving us all, Alex. Now, look what I made for you. <laughs> 